This weather report proudly brought to you by the King Summer Sale. Why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Sale in soon. Hello again. It was another beautiful day here in Melbourne, but just like yesterday, thunderstorms have been firing to our north with a large area of the state under threat from severe weather. I'll have more on that in a moment. Melbourne, though, still under a southerly wind. That's been keeping the air above us nice and stable. And from tomorrow, we are looking forward to some warmer weather. There was lots of blue sky today. The air slightly humid. The temperature in the city rising to a top of 23 before a sea breeze kicked in. We reached 25 in Essendon, Scoresby 28 degrees, Geelong 25. And the breeze this evening still coming out of the south with the risk of storms only up in the nearby hills. So for most of us here, a fairly uneventful night in the city. Tonight's low 17 degrees. But of course right now we do have severe thunderstorms moving across central and eastern districts. Bendigo, Achuka, uh, Rochester and Warrigal tonight to some of the locations under threat. These storms are producing bursts of heavy rain and hail as well, so that is causing uh, some chaos on the roads. The storms are forecast to die down over the next few hours, otherwise it was a warm and humid end to our week. The combination of high pressure down to our south and a trough over Victoria and New South Wales is pulling in all of that unstable air into the picture. We're staying in this pattern until Wednesday, so the next few afternoons could very well turn stormy again. Not here in the city, there's only a small chance of showers here over the next seven days. The main feature of our weather this week is the summer heat. It is back on track as we dial up the temperature, especially as we head towards the end of this other week. To the forecast now, the trough bringing showers to Sydney, Canberra, also down in Hobart. Nice and settled, though, over in Adelaide and Perth. Here in Victoria, tomorrow's weather generally dry and warm, but again, we are expecting isolated showers and those thunderstorms to spark up during the evening, especially about the eastern ranges. Winds will be light and variable with an afternoon sea breeze down along the coast. Closer in, we'll start with some fog about the nearby hills. Then it's partly cloudy and dry, but there is a slight chance of a shower or a storm in the afternoon. A light southeasterly breeze taking us to 27 in most spots, 28 if you're in Frankston. So a very relaxed start to our week on the weather front under a light breeze, lots of sunshine. We are heading for a top 27 degrees here in the city. Tuesday is just as nice, a top of 26. We're up to 29 on Wednesday, down to 23 on Thursday, back to 26 degrees on Friday. Then we're jumping to that top of 35 degrees on Saturday, ahead of a cool change. Sunday at this stage, cloudy and 28 degrees. But this is what we are looking forward to today, uh, tomorrow rather, another beautiful day. Beck, Mike, thankfully we are missing out on all of that storm activity. It's all happening to our north. Yeah, it looks good. Thanks, yeah. Don. And that's Seven News for this Sunday. We're live to Optus Stadium next for the Melbourne Renegades and Perth Scorchers. For now, from the Seven News team, take care. Good night. <laughs>